Hello and welcome to the Quick Terrain Modeler Tutorials. In this tutorial we will cover coordinate systems and vertical datums and how Quick Terrain Modeler uses, displays, and converts between different systems. We'll also cover units of measure for both vertical and horizontal planes and how to reference different values for north orientation. Getting started we'll first look at the coordinate systems. Model and texture data can be delivered in two main types of coordinate systems. The first geographic coordinates, as in the case of latitude and longitude, or the second, a projected coordinate system like Universal Transverse Mercator, or UTM, or State Plane Coordinate System. While QT Modeler can work in any known coordinate system and convert coordinates on the fly, it can only work in one coordinate system at a time. This is called the Global Coordinate System, or Global CS. The Global Coordinate System is established when the first data set is loaded. Once established, all future data added to the scene either needs to be in the global coordinate system or needs to be converted to the global coordinate system, which QT Modeler can do for you very easily. The coordinate system of a model, along with other details about the file, can be viewed just prior to opening the file in the information section of the Open QT Model window. Most LiDAR models are delivered in a global coordinate system of UTM. However, many users, especially military users, prefer other systems such as LATLONG or MGRS. To accommodate this, QT Modeler can simply display the desired coordinate system in the status bar, or if necessary, convert the model permanently to the desired coordinate system. To display the desired coordinate system in the status bar, simply select Display, Options, status bar options and select from the drop down the desired display units for the coordinate system. This feature can also be accessed by simply right clicking on the status bar. Note that this does not change the coordinate system of the loaded data. It simply changes the coordinate system displayed in the status bar which when different from the model's native coordinate system the status bar will turn yellow. If you wish to convert the loaded data permanently to another coordinate system from the Edit menu, select Convert Coordinate System. The Define Geo-Registration window will open. Set the fields to the desired settings and select OK. Note, as I will explain later in this tutorial, this is also where to change the vertical datum and display units. This Convert Coordinate System function is applied across the entire scene, so everything in the layer tree will have its coordinate systems converted. For example, if there are multiple models loaded, images, vectors, bookmarks, movies, routes, etc. loaded, they will all be converted to the new coordinate system at the same time. Converting coordinate systems only impacts the data loaded. It does not impact the original saved data. In order to preserve the changes, the converted data needs to be saved, or as explained next, exported. If models are cleared without saving, all changes will be lost. Model coordinate systems can also be changed during the export process. Using the Export Model function from the Export menu, select the desired model to export, and the Export Format followed by the Override Geo Registration tags, then set the desired parameters, select OK, Export, name the file, and select Save. One thing to note when converting data from Cartesian systems such as UTM coordinate systems to geodetic systems such as LatLong, some stretching of the image in an east-west direction may occur. This is normal and part of the process of projecting XY coordinates into angular space. This warping will be more extreme the further from the equator the data is. All measurements will still be accurate. Also note that with 3D data, the vertical datum will be transferred as well, such as converting nav D88 to WGS84. Going back a step, once one model is loaded, all subsequent data loaded must be displayed in or converted to the global coordinate system. QT Modeler will automatically prompt you to accomplish this conversion when you add data. As shown here, we have a model loaded in a UTM coordinate system and we are adding a model in lat long. QT Modeler automatically opens the coordinate conversion window where users have the option to convert the model or simply display the added model in the global coordinate system. Depending on the operation you select, you may see the following color highlights. Green means the new data coordinate system is compatible with the global coordinate system and no adjustment is required. 
Red means the new data coordinate system is different than the global coordinate system and requires a conversion to make it compatible. Orange means the user has chosen to convert the new data to the global coordinate system, meaning if the new data coordinate system is different from the global coordinate system, QT Modeler is about to convert it and make it compatible. Blue means the new data coordinate system is different than the global, but QT Modeler can load it anyway and still preserve the new data coordinate system. For example, data in two adjacent UTM zones could be loaded together. Yellow indicates that the user has manually relabeled the new data coordinate system. One unique situation can arise when a model is not geo-registered in a generally recognized coordinate system. QT Modeler will call this Cartesian, which means it's an unknown or unlabeled XYZ framework. This is the case for some experimental sensors and for scanners working in survey coordinates, meaning improvised coordinate systems with relative XYZ positions. It also can occur with tripod mounted scanners or on low end UAV platforms that have no georegistration and or inertial measurement units, so therefore cannot assign an accurate geolocation to each point. These Cartesian coordinates cannot be converted. However, they can be manually relabeled with the tools I just mentioned, but this relabeling is probably inaccurate. If the data is in a truly unknown coordinate system, it is best to leave the data coordinate system unlabeled. Moving on to vertical datum, vertical datum broadly comes in three categories. Those based on a form of mean sea level, or MSL, called orthometric datum, usually based on a geoid or direct leveling measurements, such as NAVD88. Those based on tidally derived surfaces of high water or low water, called tidal datum, mean low level water or mean high water are examples of those. And three-dimensional data derived through space-based systems and based on ellipsoid, such as WGS84 or NAD83 datums. QT Modeler can display or convert vertical datum in the same manner as the coordinate systems. By default, the elevations shown in the status bar are based on the vertical datum referenced in the loaded data. If you wish to display a different datum, right click on the status bar. The vertical datum is the second drop down in the status bar options window labeled display datum. It is important to note that before you convert any elevation data, you should first be sure of the origin of the data you are converting. Often the vertical data information is missing from the file header of a model, and applying conversions can lead to even less accurate elevations. For aviators, these same inaccuracies apply, yet are compounded by measuring altitude with barometric pressure instruments corrected to sea level, or with a GPS that may or may not be using the correct conversions to MSL for the area they are flying. Moving on to measurements, for distance and relative height measurements, QT Modeler will use the units of the original 3D data in all displays. If you choose to use other than the original display units, go to the File menu, Options and Settings, and set QTM display units. Use the pull down menus to select desired units. The options for both horizontal, or labeled general, and vertical are as shown here. The display units, like the status bar options, are not permanent changes to the loaded model, rather simply a change to how the data is displayed. Permanent changes to the model can be applied during the coordinate system conversion process explained earlier. Display units can also be found on the display menu under options just below the status bar options. Just as horizontal and vertical reference datums can be changed, so too can the north reference. Users have the option to select a magnetic north compass, which is important to pilots whose onboard instrumentations rely on magnetic north to establish their headings, or hikers using a standard compass to navigate. Magnetic north depends on where you are on the Earth, and when compared to true north, magnetic north can be the same, or it can vary significantly. To change between magnetic and true north, right-click on the compass in the layer tree under Special Overlays to select magnetic north. If selected, Magnetic North will be indicated by an M next to the azimuth display text above the compass. Note that if Magnetic North is turned on, the orientation of the range ring crosshairs will be aligned with Magnetic North also. And when using the Zoom to Extent icon or the hotkey N, will return the 3D scene to True North regardless of the compass selection. This tutorial covered coordinate systems and vertical datum and how QT Modeler uses, displays, and converts between different systems. 
It also covered units of measure for both vertical and horizontal planes, and a new option to display the north reference in magnetic or true north. Please see our other tutorials on our website, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.